y'all will have to excuse me i'm sweating because i'm hot i've been running around doing a lot of shit welcome to true spit ah that rhyme i ain't playing that either but that was cool too so thank you guys again thank you for coming this is true spit this is the talk show about everything okay so i appreciate you guys for stopping by for coming to check me out this is this is my first show this show is dedicated to my mother sheila today is her ninth death anniversary and in lieu of me trying to battle this wonderful thing that we call grief i um i decided to just try to do things a little different and i decided to go ahead and try and you know like launch different things and make just put a different meaning to the day okay so um covid has had all of us fucked up and it almost threw me off my rocker and i almost didn't do this so i was like nah fuck that shit I'm about to do this shit because that's what the fuck I do. You feel me? So sometimes we have to rewrite our our what we consider pain and and things like that. We really do have to rewrite that. So again, thank you guys for joining True Spit. Um, I'm not going to keep going back and back and back. We're just going to keep this thing rolling as you come in. Continue to share this video for me, guys. Please keep sharing it. So if you like the intro music, those two songs, the first one was Nights in the South by Deontay Hitchcock. He is an artist out of Atlanta. Um, he's an indie artist and you will also hear him. He has a song with um, Black as well. Uh, the other song was uh, Marilyn Monroe by Brianna Perry that's an older song also so you guys um can check those out as well so again welcome to true spit now let me just go ahead we're gonna get some disclaimers and shit up out the way all right um i am not a psychologist i went to school for the shit for a while and i ain't never graduated okay i went to a lot of college ain't never graduated so and some people gonna get on here and say well who the fuck is she to feel like she's qualified to do whatever the fuck i'm a motherfucker who survived what i'm talking about and these are the things that happen to have worked for my life i can't say shit about nobody else's life you understand what i'm saying so if these things if my life can be your entertainment or your learning lesson or your stepping stone or whatever the case may be to go ahead and help out good because that's what it's for and that's what it's about okay so just so you guys will know this show will actually have some type of flow to it is my intent i'm really here for you guys so i actually went ahead and got some ideas that you guys wanted to see and some things that you guys wanted me to do so fuck it we gonna see and do what y'all wanted me to do so just to let you know how things will work how this shit goes we will have guests if you find yourself wanting to be a guest on true talk come your ass on holla at me hit me up and we can see what you have to bring to the, this table that we can definitely discuss i don't have no problems with that we don't talk about everything if y'all don't know me and this is y'all first time meeting me no drama mama that's me okay now what y'all will not do is concern yourselves about what is holding up my 24 ounce cup and or where all this smoke is coming from it's none of your fucking business okay uh but we just gonna rock with it so we don't talk about everything i'm the person who probably says some shit that you thinking but you really don't want to say it um because maybe it's not politically correct or maybe it's just not something that you feel like you should say off the top of your head i'm the bitch that's gonna say it facebook i'm here with you but i'm also recording over here so i gotta play the both of my cameras so again thank you guys again for for rocking with me we're gonna talk about health we're gonna talk about religion we're gonna talk about some politics we're gonna talk about drugs we're gonna talk about sex we are going to talk about fingernails we're gonna talk about pissing we're gonna talk about shit and we're gonna talk about wilmington we're gonna talk about being gay being straight we're going to talk about it fucking all eventually okay um the world is ever evolving and i, I want to try to touch on pretty much all of those things so first things i want to do too guys i want to give you guys my handles if you're here you have my facebook true dixon um i don't really take a lot of friend requests on here because this is my personal really kind of place go to my instagram if you're on here and you do not follow my instagram you can hashtag jtmi or you can type in just j-u-s 
trying to make it so just trying to make it is my instagram um and i will put that on my page here and i'll make it public for everyone to see so also true spit on twitter you can holler at me on there too i'll get up there a little bit do a little shump shump if you have topics that you guys want to discuss fuck with me there okay so basically what we're going to do each show we're going to start out with some music we're going to say you know what i'm saying we're going to keep it high we're going to keep it saucy um i'm a poet i'm gonna drop off some poetry for y'all and then it has been requested that we do true story time what is true story time so true story time disclaimers for this shit um will be stories either about my life or maybe someone i know or someone that i've encountered life some a, a situation that i'm really close to uh and i feel comfortable enough to to speak about it okay so those are the things that we will do like i said again guys i'm here for you motherfuckers so let's get get right into it all right so um one of the first things that people wanted me to talk about was relationships okay so everybody's in this whole quarantine state and you know husbands are at home with their wives that they didn't know that they actually um enjoyed you know or they realized they didn't enjoy their wife or whatever the fuck the case may be okay um so <clears throat> it's not story time yet story time will be at the end you do not want to miss story time all right so we're gonna get right into it y'all my first poem that we're gonna do today first we're gonna do a poem the poem is gonna relate to story time then i have three topics that i want to discuss with you guys and then we'll finish it up with story time okay so go get your drink um it's five o'clock somewhere go ahead and roll up you know what I'm saying? Do whatever it is you need to do to just kind of sit back and go ahead and enjoy. So, ladies, where my ladies? Come on, give me some comments. Where my females? Where my females? So, for my ladies, um, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people and, you know, I, I'm a sounding board for many. And um, fuck boys, they out there, okay? They're a problem. Fuck boys and girls, you know, but we we, we gonna focus on focus on fuck boys right now. Okay, so the problem, I mean the poem, excuse me, that I have, the poem is called "I Ain't." Now I'm pretty sure somebody shared this video for me. Somebody share. Hey Donna, share the video for me, sweetie. As a woman, I'm pretty sure that we have all. <laughs> I'm Jamila, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, I forgot. This is not a kid show. I'm gonna have kids shows, but this is not this is not a kid show. I meant to tell y'all that. So if your kids is listening and shit, I'm gonna be cussing. I'm gonna be talking about shit. You might want to cut me off. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I will have children's shows, but this ain't it. So this is my poem for fuck boys. Okay, it's for them grown ass boys. You know what I'm saying? The ones that K Michelle made the song about. It's just it's for them them guys and girls. But you remember, I'm a no drama mama. Shout out to Miller Highlight. All right. You ain't my mama. You niggas is quick to yell. But then for some reason, you want me to go through hell? Somehow, you disrespect the essence that gave you birth. How dare you niggas mistreat any woman we put every single one of you on this earth. You got me bent. That's what the fuck that shit makes me want to yell. Men want a woman with standards. Until you start your shit. And all because you seem to think you lay a little good dick. That a quick nut is always going to do the trick. <laughs> so I ain't your mama. But since you want to talk about it, we can. Now your mama, she should have loved your ass a long time ago. And then maybe you, my nigga, you wouldn't have grew up so emotionally slow. Hashtag stunted. <laughs> I tell you exactly what I need. <laughs> but just to have to plead? Because, baby, your words and your actions, the only fucking shit that prove my nigga is that you just be capping. So I'm not your mama. 
Now, I'm quick to yell. You better come to me emotionally stable, consistently compassionate, and loyal as hell. Because I am not here to sacrifice my happiness for your shortcomings or to nag. Because your mama, she was supposed to love you for free. But just because she didn't, don't mean I'm going to let you sacrifice me. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I ain't your mama. Ha! Let me get some fingers. <gasps> Okay, that is the I Ain't poem, okay? If you enjoyed that, like, share, comment. Go ahead and tell people where it's at, all right? So, that was a bit of true poetry. Now, remember, if you like that, you like the I Ain't, stick around for story time, okay? If you like that, stick around for story time. All right, now, <clears throat> there are going to be <clears throat> issues. <clears throat> that need to be discussed okay the issues that need to be discussed now um like i said we we're, we're, we're going to talk about everything on this on on this show and this is just a a snippet i need someone to tell me how long i've been on here can someone tell me that please um because i'm not gonna hold you guys too long so the state of america right now we we are truly going to address that and go i'm gonna go ahead and give people my standing um so this can kind of help people understand if i'm somebody that they want to fuck with and they want to support okay um y'all know i'm here for the black community 20 minutes okay cool good thank you donna so y'all know i'm here for the black community that's my community okay so with this being said for my community, I, um, one of the things that someone wanted me to talk about was just basically, you know, with all the killings and, and what we can do and, and, uh, and things like that. Y'all not going to like my fucking answer, okay? You're just not going to like it. Um, excuse me. And um, that's courtesy of my 24. Um, and that's fine because it's my truth, okay? So, and it, we, it just is what it is. At the end of the day... It starts at home. We have got to do better starting from the ground up. And when I say the ground up, I mean ourselves as black people. Ourselves as men, black men, black women, black people raising families. That is where it starts. Nobody in this fucking world is going to fucking respect us when we don't respect ourselves sounds trivial you've heard it before because the fucking shit is true and that just is what the fuck it is um with all the killings and things that are going on my take on that is this i feel like any life that is lost to due to something that we can control and when i say that i mean that could be diabetes cancer um hypertension it don't have to be a shooting but anything that we ourselves and we people can put into our own hands that we decide not to and we perish from that to me that is senseless okay when we are murdering ourselves that is fucking retarded period but what we can't do black people is we can't glorify it one moment and then hate it the next it doesn't fucking work like that if you like the flashy cars you like all the jewelry you like all the fucking partying and bullshit and that comes along with it then you have to like the cape the past possibility of a horrible fucking ending sorry not sorry i've done it i've been there i've done that shit got out of it and understand the fuck why so all of this term oil we gotta buckle down and we gotta start here home each person individually taking their own responsibility for your personal situations once we do that shit it'll be a trickle effect and then shit will start turning over that's just my opinion on that now, so, bam, move it on the lawn, sling it out the way, move it on the lawn, sling it out the way. Okay, now, who's ready for story time? Y'all ready for story time? 
all right so story time story time so let's see hmm mm. I got one for y'all. I just have to, I be wanting to think of these things fresh. So if you follow me on Facebook, I am pretty sure you remember the debacle where I um, outed this guy that owes, and still to this day, he still owes me fucking money. Michael Galloway. We're going to get, we, I'm, I'm, people be like, don't give people, don't say people name. Fuck that. You owe me money. I'm going to say your name because you owe me money. And it's the truth. So anyway, y'all may have seen that. So let me. I tell you that story now when i tell you guys met this guy this amazing guy you know very versed um he had just gotten out of prison um and i'm the type of person i don't fuck about that shit like shit we all gotta pass because if i probably sat down and told a motherfucker all the shit that my black ass did right before what well, they might be like oh shit it. <laughs> we not gonna fuck with you period michael galloway <laughs> tag his ass anyway so y'all met the man now nah, i'm keeping hot i had no business fucking with this man because i i really wasn't like i really wasn't into dealing with men like that at the time i was just really on some shit trying to do right you feel me i really shouldn't even have been fucking with this nigga so this kind of what i get okay so Long story short, this nigga live up north. I live down here. I mean, we used to go see each other, whatever, whatever. So, he got fucked up. He was close to one of his goals. He needed some financial assistance. Now, we've been going together for like a year. We're going together for a year. My nigga need some financial assistance. He ain't even asked. I offered. So, let's say that. And I went, I did the shit. Did what a real bitch supposed to do. Sent a nigga about 1500 in about two months. No, in about three weeks. Let me say that. Three weeks, about 1500 Just to take care of bills for like 90 days. He was supposed to be moving out here. We were supposed to be together. All this shit. So, two weeks after I sent the last bit of money, I'm chilling. And my homegirl, like, and I'm not, I don't even have homegirls that be on no bullshit. My, my friend, I wasn't on Facebook at the time. My friend was like, maybe you're not on Facebook, are you? I'm like, nah. I'm like, why? She's like, you and all Michael still together? I'm like, oh, I guess not. If you asking me this, what's, what's good? This nigga got a whole bitch on a date on live on Facebook. Y'all heard what I said. This nigga on a whole date with a whole nother bitch on live on Facebook. So, <coughs> I hit his phone. What you doing? Oh, shit. Hot with a friend. I told you, you look like you're on a date on live. Oh, no. She's just a friend. <coughs> woody, woody, woo. Just a friend. Okay. So, Mind you, his mother had told him he I didn't look like a girl he needed to be with. He looked like he needed to be with a, a light skinned girl. And his goddamn mama blacker than me. So I said, okay. I ain't gonna flip out. Oh sis, I know you remember, baby. I said, I ain't gonna flip out flip out. I said, I went and got a picture of that girl that he was with, little skinny mini olive oil looking thing, po baby. And I went and got my summer picture from that summer and my red, white, and blue bathing suit. And I spliced them and I put them on his page at about four o'clock in the morning with a nice little paragraph asking all his friends and his cousins and his family, like, who would y'all choose? Like, I'm just saying, like, everybody different, you feel me? But... Some niggas like bitches with a little body body. If you like a little shorty with a little body body, then it ain't a little light skin over there. <laughs> she looks 12. So I put that up, though. 
and people was going crazy yes like i mean on this is on his page but i intentionally did it at like four o'clock in the morning because i know he probably sleep you're not gonna see it so apparently somebody his cousin trey lottie trey whoever fuck that nigga is i'm saying all names in this situation because who gonna check me calls this nigga and tell him miracle while on facebook So, after that, he tries to tell me he's not with this girl. And so, of course, I break up with him. He tells me he's not with this girl and woody woody woo. All this type of stuff. And <clears throat> I said, well, you know, if you're not with her. You know, at this point in my head, I got my mind made up. Nigga, you, you already, it's a dub. But I'm going to take you through it since you tried to take me through it. So, I said, call her. Go ahead and call her. Oh, I'm not going to call her. Did I? So, oh, you're not going to call her? That's how you know ladies. Ladies, if you want to know if he love that bitch or if he buy, he really fuck with that bitch, tell him to call that bitch. Catch a nigga and a nigga don't call that bitch or give you that phone number. Oh, you protect her? <laughs> okay, you protect her. Okay. I'm going to write to her little Facebook page and I, I'm not mad at her by any means. Shorty, let me just show you what he just sent me because I had text messages of him begging me, pleading me to be back with me. Like... Please take me back. I was tripping. Da, 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 da. Like I got mad messages. So I just sent the messages to her to let her know like he's playing both sides of the field, shorty. You know, just letting another woman know what's good. So the story time is about two minutes from being over, okay? Maybe three. So I break up with the dude. Okay. He constantly tries to get me back. I got so much fucking proof. Like, he constantly tries to get me back. The nigga didn't have enough dick to keep... And let me say this. I'm not... And when I say this, I'm not a... I don't like no humongous ass penis. Let me say that. The nigga didn't have enough dick to be doing what the fuck he was doing. So, what I think happened is the bitch realized that the nigga didn't have half of the shit that he was saying to back up any of the fucking shit he was saying. So, he ends up coming back. I, mean, I don't fuck with her no more. da, 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 da. No, okay, so what? Run me my money. Now you owe, you owe me money. I broke up with you. You thought you was going to play me. Now just give me my money back that I just gave you. Excuse me. You right. I'm going to pay you your money. Nigga never pays me my money. So we run his ass up off Facebook. And um, he contacts me out of the blue like six months to a year. Maybe like a, over a year later. Excuse me. And it's like I'm about to start paying you back your money. Woody, woody, woo. Nigga want to pay me back my money fifty dollars every two weeks. No, I'm not frozen. Fifty dollars every fucking two weeks. All right, give me that just because that's not like some shit my baby daddy would do, but that's fine. Fuck it, I will take it. Put it in my cash app. I ain't about to ask you for it. If you send it, you send it. If you don't, you don't. But then. The nigga try to get slick in the inbox because he's still trying to pursue me. And I'm telling him, like, look, leave me alone. I'm good. Like, I'm talking to somebody. I would never talk to your ass again, even if I wasn't talking to somebody. Like, my nigga, I'm good. He kept fucking trying. So then I had to cuss his ass out again. And, you know, and then that's the piece where Miracle had to learn, like, okay, just don't even engage with this here fella because he's sick, you know. Somewhere along the lines, he lost his fucking mind and thought that you were the, I don't know. But that's story time. So, nigga came back, told me he was going to play and pay my money. He paid me like $150. And then he stopped paying me. And then I was just like, I'm not about to go through this shit with you. And then he tried to, like, get nasty yet again on Facebook. But he keeps sending me requests on Facebook. So, yeah, I'm going to embarrass you. Every single time you send me a request, I'm going to embarrass $1,500 fucking dollars up out your ass. Because I ain't grown that much yet. You know? Like, fuck it. That's just where I'm at. I ain't say I was perfect. I never fucking said I was perfect. Y'all going to see I'm petty as fucking shit. So, yeah. My my shoulder. So, anyway, y'all, that is story time. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm getting ready to wrap this up. I do want to tell you guys this. You guys, if you know me, you know I blend oils. I do True Essentials, okay? You can check out True Essentials. Um, you can get pretty much anything that you need. Um, if you have anxiety, depression.